Kia ora koutou. Welcome to Mahara 1904, which was released at the end of April 2019. Many people and organizations contributed features and bug fixes. We'd like to thank everyone who's been involved in making this release happen, whether as community member, Mahara partner, or as a member of the Mahara Core project team. Let's review some highlights of this new version of Mahara. We consolidated the people and group screens to make it easier to find people and see friends on one screen and do the same for groups. Filter options help narrow down the result lists for quick access. You have a more modern page header available to you when you view a portfolio page and a profile page. It places more emphasis on the title. The action buttons are always available no matter where you are on the page. Opening links in the new window is back in a secure way. When you place a link into text, you can decide whether to display the resulting page in the same window or in a new tab. External links are automatically opened in a new browser window. You could already display open badges in your portfolio when you had badges stored in the Open Badges Backpack and in the Open Badge Passport. Now you can also display badges stored in Badger after you connect to it in your account settings. By switching the setting Add to all pages in the navigation block to Yes, you put that block onto all existing pages within your collection automatically. Only new pages will still need to have it added. You can set up a competency framework in the site administration with the new Smart Evidence Editor. It allows you to edit an existing framework if it is inactive or copy a live framework and make that available to your learners. You can make changes to any component of a framework, set up the assessment statuses, create new standards, and have the ability to arrange them if they need to be displayed in a different order. You can also set up the standard elements and align them to a particular standard and change their order if needed. A series of enhancements were made in the groups. When you create a forum as a staff member, institution or site administrator, you can require that all group members are subscribed to the forum and cannot unsubscribe from it, allowing everyone to get all notifications placed into that forum. Any group administrator can decide that new forum posts and replies go through a moderation queue and need approval before they can be viewed by other group members. Approval can then be given by the group administrator or a forum moderator. You can attach files to forum posts either from your own computer or your Mahara file storage or group files if you are allowed to. The attachment can then be seen and downloaded by other group members. When you upload a file to a group, your name is listed as the person who uploaded it, both in the group's file area as well as when you view the details of the file from a group page. A multi-tenanted site can be set up with isolated institutions, allowing for better separation between institutions while still using the same Mahara site. This is beneficial when privacy requires that people of different institutions shall not be able to contact each other or share portfolios directly. It is still possible though to set up public portfolios for wider sharing. On the technical side, Mahara 1904 uses Bootstrap 4 for its responsive themes. A guide is available to assist with the upgrading of existing themes. In our BHAT test suite, automation tests can be created faster by defining page content in background steps instead of needing to write out the steps to create and add the content to the scenarios. 
This makes the scenarios shorter and execute them more quickly. There are several additional new features in Mahara 1904 and bugs have also been fixed. You can view them all in our tracker. The new features are also included in the Mahara 1904 user manual. As always, you can download Mahara and install it on your own server. Alternatively, you can seek support from a Mahara partner. We look forward to your feedback on the new features.